We are here uh, with Cole Fleming, um, Sandlot legend Cole Fleming on, on this, this quick uh, tournament edition of, of, of the Jersey Baseball Show. And uh, Cole is a freshman member of the NJIT baseball team making their first ever trip in the NCAA tournament. He's down in Fayetteville right now getting ready in a couple hours to take on the number one team in the country, the Arkansas Razorbacks. First of all, Cole, not a bad end of your freshman year. Congratulations. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So, so I guess really my, my first question would be just if you could try to explain some of the, the really, you know, awesome, just the, the excitement of, you know, being a part of the, the first NJIT team to make the, the D1, you know, the field of 64, um, the excitement of playing in possibly the most rabid college baseball town in, in the country and, and, national tv ncaa tournament it's a it's a far cry from the regular home games this year isn't it oh absolutely <laughs> so it's, it's going to be a big step up from what we've been used to all year but uh i think uh the excitement's just been like just amazing like everyone every day ever since monday selection day it's just been wow like we have the greatest opportunity to put our school on the map and let everybody in like this country know that like we're not just we're not just like some random team like we're here to like show, we're, we mean business we're here to show who we are and we're going to show that on the national stage yeah so um i'll show a picture here of uh selection uh monday right if if i recall watching the show you didn't have to wait very long for your moment but what's going through your head when when this happens and we and we see NJIT right away on the on the board playing the number one team and you know just uh, explain how kind of surreal that is. Uh, it's kind of funny because like it felt like we just sat down and then all of a sudden we're like right on the board. That's what uh, our head coach was saying. He's like, oh, like I feel like I just sat down in my seat and then like we we're already popping up on the board. But uh, I mean, when we see our name, you know, it's it's probably that was probably one of the best moments of the entire year. Like you see your name on ESPN and like your school is just represented. And then all of a sudden we're, we're all thinking about like, holy crap, we're playing the best team in the nation. <laughs> um, but like I said, we got such a tight knit group of guys that everyone believes in each other. And yeah. even though even though that uh, like people around the world might not think that we have a chance like everyone in our team believes and we know that we have a very strong chance to win this game does so it, we stick together and play our game does it help at all knowing that you really don't have to look that far to see an example from your own conference of a team that you know got in was a, a four seed was wasn't expected to go out of the regional wasn't expected to win any games and then a couple weeks later you know, Stony Brook was playing in Omaha, and I guess that's 2012, but it was certainly recent enough that, you know, any college baseball fan remembers that, you know, does that help that you don't really have to look far for, it's not like the biggest stretch of imagination, you, know, you can dream on it for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's definitely like a, an example that we can look at where it's like, you know, this wasn't a team that was favored anywhere and, and, you know, they made their run and that's like definitely something that we're trying to do. How about the, the resilience of, of your team this year? And I think it's kind of a common theme for anybody who, who gets to this point during, you know, this year with COVID, with all the testing, with all the things that went on. But, you know, to you know, have an up and down start, but, but come in now with nine straight wins, you know, best, re, you know, best year in team history. You got, uh, you know, Julio with 10 homers, Julio Marcano with 10 homers. Um, you know, Jake Rappaport out of the out of the pen, sort of doing that, you know, stopper role of, you know, whenever needed and, you know, eight wins and 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 Ryan, you know, Ryan Fisher, who's a, a local from uh, from Hunter and Hunter and Central, you know, kind of anchoring the, the, the rotation. But explain some of the resilience that comes about and the kind of togetherness that comes about this year. Um, I think a ton of that has to do with our senior leadership. Um, these are guys that like our captains, Paul Franzoni, Jared Caxo, like two major parts of our team. Like, uh, like these are guys that these are guys that embody like the NJIT style of baseball. Like these are guys that have been there before, like in the mud. If I, that's like the best term I could use. Like, like that they, they went from nine wins in the A Sun to now having the best record in NJIT or the best season in NJIT history. Like these are the guys that are 
They motivate us every day. They force everybody to work hard. Everybody's so tight because of them. And I think that that is a huge attribute to our resilience. Like that's what, like we're all, everybody has each other's backs at all times. Like no matter who it is, top to bottom. So I think that creates the like resilience for our team. Everybody's able to bounce back no matter what. Started the season, what was our record? Three and 12. Yeah. We started off the season and like we come all the way back. We go on nine game winning streak to end the year. And it's just like, wow, like everybody's just resilient, you know, like, and just, just together. It's a great story. It could be a movie, you know, who would play you in the movie is the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, you know, to go from starting, you know, playing, first of all, not having fans in home games, right. To, to go from there to, to maybe 150 at the most you said, and then to finally get some, you know, fans allowed to, to come down to Stony Brook and, and for the conference tournament to now this, you know, 10,000 plus, you know, maybe, maybe parents, your parents rooting for you, but, but really every 99% of the crowd's going to be rooting for the favorite, unfortunately. Um, is that going to be a challenge, you know, to, to control just the, the emotions and the adrenaline rush of, you know, you're playing in front of a, a, a minor, a large minor league crowd. It's, it's just, it's just crazy to think about. Right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, uh, I think maybe like when we get there, it'll yeah. be, you know, For it'll sure. be like first day. Everyone will probably be a little, you know, like amped up and like whatever. But I mean, our, our guys, like they, like they know what they're doing. So like, I mean, they've maybe they didn't play in front of this much, but they've played a lot of the kids have played in front of pretty decent crowds that play points in their lives. So I think, uh, once we get like closer to game time, everyone's going to be able to like settle down and, you know, just kind of like block it out and just play our game. So I think, uh, I don't think it's going to affect us too much. Good. No, it's a great day for NJIT. Great weekend for NJIT. Cole Fleming. Thank you very much. Again, great freshman year for you, by the way. I know it was, uh, you know, you make the adjustments at the beginning, but, you know, really, you know, got the average over 300, had a couple of one of the new, you know, freshman of the week, I think in the conference at one point. Right. So, you know, real quickly, you know, did that, once you were able to settle in, it kind of felt pretty good, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. I just, uh, I remember, like, I had a really good weekend, and it just it just felt good to be able to help the team. Because, um, I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not, like, an everyday starter this year, being a freshman. Yeah. But um, I felt like I was able to contribute in certain yeah. ways that were able to help our well, team along the way. Yeah, you want to make, you establish your role. You, you, you know, you, you feel like, you belong at this level, right? I mean, that's, that's gotta be like, Hey, I, I, you know, I had a great couple weeks too, and you know, I'm ready to go and whenever called upon. Right. Absolutely. So awesome. Congratulations again, Cole, three o'clock today, local time. So two o'clock for you yes, but sir. Three o'clock, you can catch us, catch NJIT on ESPN three. Make sure you do that first ever NCAA appearance for the Highlanders. Certainly wish you the best of luck. Thanks Cole. Thank you. Let's shock the world today. Yeah. <laughs>